Today, I want to talk to you about a very harmful and little known disease, cutaneous leishmaniasis. I remember the first time I saw it. I was a girl and I already liked to care and to cure. My father used to work in the forest. That's where the vector bit him. Perhaps that experience has made me what I am now, a specialist in leishmaniasis. To better understand this disease, it is important to know its transmission cycle. It is transmitted by a parasite, via an insect vector which inoculates it into mammals. Some wildlife animals maintain the parasite. The insects that transmit leishmaniasis bite, feed on blood, and are distinguished by their small size, short jumping flights, and V-shaped wings. This insect bites infected mammals and can pass on the parasite to humans. When the vector bites a person, it produces a welt lasting one or two days. Its enlargement is the first sign of suspecting cutaneous leishmaniasis. Over two weeks to two months, the lesion may evolve according to the immunity of each organism. When in doubt, it is best to approach a nearby health center to confirm a diagnosis and receive treatment. Leishmaniasis is not transmitted directly from one person to the next. It is only transmitted through the bite of the infected insect. How can you prevent cutaneous leishmaniasis? Wear clothes covering all your skin in places with dense vegetation. Use insect repellent and sleep under mosquito nets. Also, remember to clean the yards and grounds to avoid vector breeding sites. I couldn't help my dad, but I can teach you how to protect yourself from leishmaniasis. I am Dr. Laura.